In this video, I'm going to show you how to get 4K quality edits in CopCard. This is a new updated version. And um, learning this can really improve the quality of your video. So if you're looking to get a 4K quality, uh, this is a solution now. Just so you know, like if you start a low quality video, let's say your video doesn't have 4K quality. Your video is uh, 19 by 18, you know, and... Uh, then if you're trying to upscale the video probably will look kind of blurry yeah, because you know well you're going from a low resolution to a higher resolution so make sure you actually you are not exporting the video actually for quality 4k because it's quite easy you know in um in a, a cop cut in cop cut you can easily go to export and then here you can select for qual 4k quality you can select 60 fps the best, uh, not the best, could be the best bitrate, uh, very high, so it looks good, but this won't make your video look super amazing, amazing, because, you know, as I said, your video, resolution of your video low, trying to change the resolution, won't do any good, so, but I have a workaround here in this video, so please watch this video till the very end, and subscribe for more tutorials, for more CupCut tutorials, I really, really appreciate it, really make me happy. So please subscribe and watch this video till the very end so you don't miss the entire process. Now before this video starts, I just want to mention that I got this video from Canva Pro from my from Canva. Just so you know, you can find this video on Canva. It actually you just need a pro version. And now let's jump right into this video. So what you have to do first is we're gonna have to use an effect for this to work. So we're gonna have to go to effects here and then here in video effects we have to look for cartoon. Please click on cartoon. And now here grab this effect, this one BW sketch, grab this one here, stretch it for the entire video like this. Now, please follow along with me. We're going to have to look for the next effect. So we're going to have to look for this effect. Let's look for it. So um, now here, we're going to look for the blur, which is this one here is located in lens, effects, lens, and blur. Grab this, drag it onto your video actually on top of your video not on your video and now this is what we have which is fine because we're gonna have to export this so let's go to export Ex we don't export this in 4k i'm gonna write here cup cut one number one so i know this is the first number number we're gonna have we're gonna use this if you have too many files writing the name of that file can help you be more organized now we're gonna have to look for another effect so let's go here in effects lens here we're gonna have to look for this comic effect uh sorry let's click on cartoon and also make sure you actually delete this effect we don't need this effect anymore but make sure here in cartoon we look for this neon effect all right and grab this position this on top of your video so now we're gonna have to after you import it, your neon and blur now please go to export because we're gonna have to export this again i'm gonna write here number two because we're gonna use this number two and make sure you export this in 30 fps you export this bitrate recommended and with resolution 1080p now please click on export perfect shouldn't take that long depends on your computer but um yeah usually doesn't take that long because the video now depends now this is kind of, this video is quite short but it depends on your video how long it is and uh, then it's gonna take longer I heard I heard I heard for um a friend he's using Mac on a Mac he said that a cap cut is more optimized now I don't know if it's that true or not is that's just his opinion 
his experience, what he tried, and you know, he tried on Mac, CupCut, and he he said that it works really fast without any lag. So yeah, I don't know if that's true, but anyways. Now please follow along with me because we're gonna have to export. We're gonna have to import. Sorry, the videos we just exported. We have two videos. We export part one, part two. So I'm gonna click on import here and export and import actually both. All right, now you exported your these videos. We exported. We we you imported <laughs> these videos. We exported one and two. Now just make sure you delete both of these effects from here. Please, and now please just grab this effect, this effect here. And now make sure you respect the order. That's so important for this to work. Make sure you have this video first, this one that I was the new effect. And then the second one is located, is positioned here. You'll place it right here in between those videos, please. And now for this video right here, we're going to have to go to blend. We have blend here and here in mode, make sure you change to color burn, please. And decrease the opacity to about 35. I've used this setting, this percentage for a lot of my videos and it worked just fine. Also, I have the same percentage for all of my videos, not all of my tutorials, but some of them to increase the quality for some of them and uh, now what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to for the second for the this video we're gonna have to go to blend and here please change to color dodge and here you can decrease the opacity or increase it it already looks much better for me so so yeah now we got what we're gonna have to do is to go to adjustment here and here click on custom adjustment and we have this here so make sure you you place this on your entire uh, entire video you increase the duration of this adjustment and now what we're gonna have to do some couple of things here first I'm going to increase a little bit of sharpness, not, not too much, but just a little bit, because we're going to get the details back, some details, or some, um, uh, where it's like a bold, a bold uh, or line that is a bold, and it needs to sharpen that part, or that uh, portion of the video is good to add some uh, sharpen. Now in uh, clarity, well, well, clarity, we're going to have to do, uh, we, like my train of thought right now, what I'm thinking of right now is what can look natural, what doesn't look natural, is this gray, uh, dark here natural, well, it's not right now, but if you increase just a little bit, uh, now it looks look more natural, particles, well, we don't need particles, vintage, we don't need vintage, so with this, don't change anything, exposure, uh, does this um, image right now has uh, less exposure as it should? We should add any exposure, right? That's that's what I'm thinking of right now. Well, the exposure like this is really bad, but like this now about five, it looks good. Contrast. Well, for contrast, we don't really have to change anything. Now we also have curves here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag a little bit on this side because I need to get the details for this part of the face. And we also can see if it made any difference, this one. And it did, as you can see, it looks better again. But without of this here, in my opinion, wouldn't look good. So building this block like this will really make the video stand out. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do after we add all the details here, in adjustment here. All right. We're going to have to go to export. And now here, change resolution for, um, you know, I know what I said at the beginning of the video. You know, you shouldn't change really if your video is uh, 1080p. That's the resolution of my video. Now the video will, will, sh will get stretched, you know, and in some situation, it will actually deform, destroy, 
you know make the video look bad but you should try this and see if actually the, you know if it's actually um makes the video look better but that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change this to 4k bitrate high and a format mp4 of course and frame rate 60 frame uh, fps so yeah that's what you're gonna have to do and your video should look much much better just leave your computer as it is also another thing that i'm doing for my laptop is i'm going to power options and edit power options here because i don't want my i don't want a cup cut to lag what i'm doing while i'm doing this while this is being exported i set this to 100 100 